years ago this week, Google released TensorFlow, an open source machine learning system. It was faster, smarter, and more flexible than their previous systems, and it could run on a single smartphone or scale up to a whole data center. And back in 2015, Google was already using this for things like speech recognition in the Google app, smart search in Google Photos, smart replies in Inbox. Inbox doesn't exist anymore, but it's the same smart replies in Gmail and things like Rank Brain in Google Search. So Google was using this, but 10 years ago they announced this would be free and it would be open source. It was available to academics, uh, engineers at other companies, hobbyists, anyone could use this to make machine learning applications. TensorFlow has had real world usage. It was used by Twitter when it was actually Twitter to create a ranked feed and the home timeline. So instead of just having in chronological order made a ranked for you feed. It's been used by PayPal for fraud detection. It's been used for creating systems to detect diseases, used a whole bunch of different things. So this is the real deal. So it's not clear to me how much TensorFlow itself is still used by Google anymore. I'm, but if you wanna learn more, you can actually go to the TensorFlow website and you can try it for yourself. Seems like it could be a good way to learn about how machine learning, learning works.